Okay, first thing, first go check out bionicchaos.com. A lot of interesting tools. A lot more is coming shortly. Just trying to organize it all. It's a bit, uh, a bit messy. We can do do it at the end. First, we will jump straight into development. So, why this one trace back? So, trying socket I/O. Uh, from the Flask library. Well, just a crazy idea of uh, potentially reviewing EG and ECG data in the shape of Lissagius curves that look like this. So I don't know. don't think anyone have tried this before. Actually, GPT-4 had some ideas around how to actually do it can pop this image in but essentially we after uh, adding biomedical data to the mix just have to see how we do it hey yeah, hopefully this will just provide a general uh, description it's what we are after maybe we can read uh, this one as well quickly application design we've discussed so far. The list of just curves are generated based on user-provided parameters, not directly calculated from the biomedical data. However, you certainly can enhance the application to calculate parameters for the Lissajous curves from the biomedical data. Here's how you could approach integrating the biomedical data more directly into generating these curves. Hash, direct integration of biomedical data into Lissajous curve generation one. Data analysis, Analyze the biomedical data to extract key features that could be used as parameters for the Lissajous curves. This could include frequencies, amplitude ratios, or phase differences between different components of the signal. Use signal processing techniques like Fourier analysis to identify dominant frequencies that could correspond to the A and B parameters in the Lissajous formula. Calculate phase shifts or other relevant metrics that could be used as the phase delta parameter. 2. Automated Parameter Calculation Implement algorithms that automatically calculate these parameters from the loaded biomedical data. This could be done as a pre-processing step when the CSV file is loaded, or dynamically as data is streamed if real-time calculation is feasible. 3. Visualization Control Allow the application to switch between manual input of lissajous parameters and automatic generation based on biomedical data. This provides a versatile learning tool where users can see how standard Lissajous parameters generate curves and how curved from actual biomedical data might differ. 4. Educational insights. By visualizing how actual biomedical signal parameters translate into Lissajous curves, users can gain insights into the relationships and dynamics within the data, such as understanding resonance phenomena or interactions between different signal components. Suppose the biomedical data consists of two related EG signals with varying frequencies and phase relationships over time. By performing a Fourier transform, you can identify the dominant frequencies of these signals. You could then, then map these frequencies to the A and B uh, parameters of the Lissajous curves. If there's a consistent phase lag between these two signals, it could serve as the delta P parameter. The resulting Lissajous curve would visually represent the interaction between these two frequencies and their phase relationship offering a unique way to conceptualize complex interactions in EEG data. Hasher summary. While the initial application setup uses manually input parameters for generating Lissajous curves, integrating biomedical data analysis for automated parameter calculation can deepen the educational and analytical value of the application. This approach not only provides an interactive tool for learning about signal processing and mathematical visualization, but also bridges the gap between theoretical math and practical biomedical applications. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, currently, we only have the the curves themselves. You can change uh, parameters. Ideally, would be uh, what are they called? The uh, lost the word. Totally lost the word. Maybe we can ask for better. Uh, uh, sliders, yes, sliders. 
Was the GPT in code generation mode or? Yeah, that original code is from uh, GPT-4. Can we turn this text into HTML? So why is this called A and B? Instead of uh, still generating or is it stuck? Yeah, I would like a different... Uh, Different initial values would be nice. You know, what's a classic uh, shape? Those really should be. Uh, how can we turn the input uh, values uh, into? We don't want to use the drop down or entering the number manually. What else can we do? Uh, no, we don't like drop downs as well. How about sliders instead? Like how it's generating code already, but that's by the way in uh, GitHub Go Pilot. Yep, and we'll have to change the script as well. So in index HTML, the form, changing the form into sliders. Okay, this is better. That could really be. A spread out some more but we'll do one change at a time and yeah, that's interesting it's essentially guess we will keep those yeah we like how uh, this one looks like it's pretty nice yes yeah, so all these tools will eventually appear on bionicchaos.com so go check it out and don't be shy Leave comments, questions, complaints. That thing is not updating there. Why is it not updating? I don't know what that value is. Let's make it point 0.1. Yeah, nothing kind of works at the moment. It's a bit annoying. So that's around point 0.6. We really need to uh, sort it out. What are they called? The Ben. Uh, let's check that we are using uh, a slider should be in a JavaScript. It's not. Okay, it's an interactive application visualizing. Yeah, we want eventually to visualize the biomedical data. Just another way to go about it. Hey, can we generate the JavaScript. Oops. Yeah, we need to regenerate a JavaScript. Currently, some things are not actually working as expected. Yeah, eventually, we want to visualize the uh, biomedical data with this. Is that default? No, we don't want that as default. Pretty sure we had uh, something else. We need to. Uh, use the workspace handle okay looking at the new we updated the html to include sliders instead of just uh, manual number inputs but we need to update our javascript code as well can we regenerate it from scratch okay in our javascript we have the ready function html okay that looks a uh, better Okay, now those uh, uh, numbers next to the slider are actually updating, which is nice. Uh, where are the default values? Let's make that uh, 1.2, uh, 1 and 5. Okay, so we get the default values correctly. Again, with workspace function. Uh, we would like the chart the curve to be displayed as soon as the page loads. How do we change the code? Can shell script ready function. I don't like when it tells me existing code, right, for biomedical visualization. Yeah, it's assuming a real-time biomedical signal. Well, we don't, we can stream it from file. 
it is not it what did i ask though uh let's do the same prompt again on a uh, while actually highlighting the whole uh, javascript code because i can't integrate anything myself okay this is actually working yeah i really don't like uh, buttons hey can we also get rid of the button i don't like it so that uh, the curve chat updates when we changing values on the fly on the fly okay we have a new html uh, not new javascript code okay this is actually updating when we're changing the values so it's already quite uh, neat and we can remove the form And there's something wrong with my microphone. Okay, this should be better in theory, maybe. Okay, this should be better in theory. There's less delay as well, which is nice. This, should, this number should be going uh, negative as well. Uh, right. So we can remove the form. We can remove the form that will be from HTML. Doesn't even have an ID. Uh, submit. Don't have it. Be sure it's safe to uh, get rid of. Uh, we could use the explanation. In this visual from your application, you have a web interface that allows users to input parameters for generating Lissajuice curves. Here's what's happening and how it reflects the application's functionality. Breakdown of the interface and visualization. One, in input parameters. A controls the frequency of the sinusoidal function along the x-axis. In this example, it's set to four. B controls the frequency along the y-axis set to one. The delta Todd determines the phase shift. It's currently set to zero, meaning there is no phase difference between the sinusoidal functions. To generate Lissajous curve button. When clicked, it triggers the function to calculate and display the Lissajous curve based on the given parameters. Three, Lissajous curve visualization. The plot shows a Lissajous curve resulting from the current settings. Since A equals four and B equals one with delta equals zero, the curve forms a pattern that repeats every time the sine wave in the x direction completes four cycles while the one in the y direction completes one. This results in an elongated sinusoidal pattern stretched along the x-axis. Application Dynamics and Visualization Visual Feedback The graph dynamically updates to reflect changes in parameters. This instant visual feedback helps users understand the impact of each parameter on the shape of the can we update the description for this web application and give a bigger picture as well? The JavaScript code is attached above. Can you generate the text response in HTML script? Parameters affect their shape could enrich the educational value of the application. It would help users without a deep mathematical background understand the principles behind these curves and their relevance to the signals being visualized. Comparative views. To enhance understanding further, include side-by-side -side visualizations of both the raw biomedical data and the corresponding Lissajous curve. This would allow users to see how modifications in the biomedical signal directly influence the shape and behavior of the curves. User-driven experiments. Enable users to upload their own data sets or choose from a library of preloaded biomedical signals to see how different types of data produce different Lissajous curves. This could be particularly useful in a classroom setting or for researchers exploring the properties of various signals. Interactive learning modules. Incorporate interactive quizzes 
or learning modules that guide users through various scenarios using the Lissajous curves to teach principles of physics, mathematics, or biomedical sciences. Advanced data processing options. Provide advanced users with the option to customize how the biomedical data translates into Lissajous curve parameters. For example, allow adjustments for filtering the data, selecting specific data ranges for analysis, or changing the methods used for calculating frequencies and phases. Final thoughts. By enhancing the interactivity and educational components of your application, you can transform it into a more comprehensive learning tool that not only engages users, but also provides deeper insights into both the mathematical and practical aspects of signal processing. This can make the application invaluable not just as a visualization tool, but as an interactive educational platform suitable for students, educators, and professionals alike. Yeah, I don't know why it's uh, reverted to including the JavaScript in the HTML code. I mean, it could in theory be better to keep everything in one file, but then they they might be getting too long. So actually, uh, we don't want that. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, we're also not sure about the Flask backend. We actually want to keep it uh, clean. Uh, there's a couple of things. So we want to separate the, uh, uh, sep we want to have separate files. Uh, we want this uh, structure. This structure is wrong as well, isn't it? Okay, we're also working with another AI, uh, a GitHub Copilot. Could ask it to regenerate. Just pop in updated uh, files and folder structure for the project. I'm going to use the workspace and I'll should look at all the files in theory right this is better okay so this is the folder and file structure for the project uh, what we currently have working pretty well we do want to improve it uh, a bit before publishing on our website we could so we could uh, i'll share the html and the javascript file could you regenerate the flask back and python code uh, also we don't currently have the code for real-time biomedical signal visualization essentially we'll be choosing a data pre-recorded data file next and we will uh, be extracting some features from it and based on the, these features we would be changing the input parameters for the Lissajous curves whichever way you pronounce it but we'll do it later uh, first uh, we want to just fix a few things with this application the third import should go negative i think as well um so i think uh, yeah look up uh, the details about it materially i think it should be going from minus one to one can you double check that something wrong with my microphone Hopefully it's better now. I had another video playing in the background by mistake. To address the requirements and improvements you've outlined for your web application, let's start by updating the Flask backend to work seamlessly with your existing front-end setup. We'll also adjust the delta slider range to go from minus one to one as suggested, ensuring that all components are correctly implemented and functioning. Flask backend, ap.py, Here's an updated version of the Flask backend that includes the functionality to handle requests for generating Lissajous curves and future integration with real-time biomedical signal visualization. Python from Flask import Flask render template request JSONify from Flask socket.io import socket.io 
import numpy as np, import pandas as pd, app equals flask name, socketio equals socketio app. Load pre-recorded data, def load 20 data. Return pd.readcsv data slash pre-recorded data.csv at route slash def index return render template index.html. At app.route slash lisages methods post def generate lisages extract parameters from the request a equals float request.form get a1 b equals float request.form get b1 delta equals float request form get delta zero generate data for lisages curves tquint.lin space zero to np.py thousand x np.sin at plus delta y equals np.sin bt return jsonify x equals x.tolist y equal name equal main sakekio.run and app debug true Updating HTML and JavaScript for slider ranges. Adjust the delta slider to cover a range from height 9 to 1 to 1 in the HTML and ensure the JavaScript reflects the current values correctly. HTML, part of index.html, debult slider the, lingual put type of range, id equals delta slider, name put delta min min nix1 max1 one, step equals equals 0 0.1. Value script delta bash value. JavaScript, part of scripts.js, update the JavaScript to reflect and use the correct slider range values upon user interaction. JavaScript, update slider display and generate curve function, update slider display and generate curve slider ID, display ID, var value equals hash plus slider ID val, which have display ID, text value, and just generate lissages curve. Generate curve on slider change. Initialize and handle slider changes like a slider, b slider, delta slider, dot on input change function, update slider display and generate curve a value, update slider display and generate curve b slider b value, update slider display and generate curve delta slider delta value. Generate and display lissages curve function generate lissages curve, var form data lissages dash form serialize, post lissages form data function data, var trace equals x data dot x, y data dot y, type scatter, var layout equals title lissages curve, Plotly.new plot, lissages plot, trace, layout. Next steps, real-time biomedical data visualization. As you plan to integrate real-time features, decide on how you will simulate the streaming of data from the CSV file. This could involve periodically sending data points to the front end, which updates the visualizations accordingly. Feature extraction for dynamic parameter adjustment. Explore extracting features from the biomedical data that dynamically adjust the parameters for generating lissages curves. This could involve statistical or Fourier analysis to determine appropriate values for A, B, and delta. This setup ensures that your application is prepared for both immediate enhancements and future integration of complex data processing and visualization capabilities. Uh, did you look up if the last uh, input should be from zero to one or minus one to one? Can you look it up? As I said, we have another AI doing the coding for us. So can you just give a bigger picture for this uh, web application? The curves are working okay. However, can you give specific ideas as to how it can be integrated with reviewing biomedical data like EEG and uh, ECG. Integrating your web application, which currently visualizes mathematical lissages curves with biomedical data analysis for EEG and ECG, presents a compelling opportunity to enhance both educational and practical applications. Here's a broader perspective on how this integration can be conceptualized and implemented. Bigger picture. Bridging Mathematical Visualization with Biomedical Signal Analysis 1. Educational and Diagnostic Tool Conceptual Understanding Utilize the application to help students and professionals understand the frequency, phase, and amplitude relationships in EEG and ECG signals by correlating these to parameters that control Lissajous curves. Seeing these relationships visually can aid in deeper understanding of complex concepts in signal processing and physiology. Pattern Recognition Train users to recognize patterns in EEG and ECG data that correspond to specific medical conditions or signal anomalies. By adjusting the lissages curve parameters to match patterns seen in clinical cases, users can learn to identify and interpret meaningful data more effectively. Structure 2. Real-time data analysis and visualization. Live data integration. Stream live data from EEG and ECG monitoring devices to dynamically generate lissages curves in real time. 
This could be used in clinical settings for ongoing patient monitoring or in research to study the impacts of various interventions in real time. Comparative analysis allow users to overlay or juxtapose Lissajous curves derived from patient data with ideal curves or those from different patient segments to visually assess deviations or anomalies. Three, feature extraction for dynamic parameter modification. Automated signal analysis implement algorithms that automatically analyze incoming biomedical signals to extract key features like dominant frequencies, phase relationships, and amplitude ratios. Use these features to adjust the parameters of the Lissajous curves dynamically. Create a feedback system where the discrepancies between expected and actual Lissajous curves help refine the diagnosis or understanding of the underlying physiological state. For instance, unexpected curve shapes might suggest the need for further medical evaluation or adjustments in therapeutic approaches. Four, user interaction and customization. Interactive learning modules. Develop modules where users can simulate various medical conditions by adjusting the Lissajous parameters and observe how these conditions manifest in biomedical signals like EEG or ECG. Customizable dashboards. Provide healthcare professionals with customizable dashboards where they can configure the display settings, choose which data to visualize, and how to correlate them with Lissajous parameters for the most informative views. Mr. 5. Research and Development. Uh, data collection and analysis. Use the application as a tool for collecting and analyzing data in research studies. Researchers could use the visual feedback from Lissajous curves to hypothesize relationships in biomedical data and test these hypotheses through further experiments. Innovation in treatment approaches. By visualizing how different treatments affect the frequency and phase of EEG or ECG signals, medical professionals can innovate new treatment strategies based on empirical visual evidence. Conclusion The integration of Lissajous curve visualization with real-time or historical biomedical data analysis offers a multifaceted tool that can serve educational, diagnostic, and research purposes. This approach not only makes abstract concepts more tangible, but also enhances the capabilities of medical professionals and researchers to interpret and utilize biomedical data effectively. Okay, more specifically, can we use it to compare two EEG channels or a combination of uh, left versus right brain hemisphere recordings? Absolutely. Using Lissajous curves to compare two EEG channels, such as recordings from the left and right hemispheres of the brain, is a particularly insightful application. This approach can highlight differences in brain activity between the two hemispheres, which is crucial for understanding brain symmetry, functionality, and potential abnormalities. Specific applications for comparing EEG channels using Lissajous curves. One, symmetry analysis, brain functionality. By comparing EEG signals from the left and right hemispheres using Lissajous curves, you can visually assess the symmetry in brain activity. Asymmetrical activity can be indicative of neurological conditions or localized brain responses to cognitive tasks. Real-time monitoring. This could be particularly useful in real-time during neurological procedures or in clinical settings where monitoring the balance of brain activity is critical such as during surgery or recovery from cerebral injuries. DAR2, cognitive and behavioral studies. Cognitive load, uh, different tasks may activate various parts of the brain differently. Lissajous curves can help researchers and clinicians visualize how cognitive load affects each hemisphere. Behavioral response. In behavioral studies, comparing the activity of both hemispheres for given stimuli can provide insights into how different types of stimuli visual, auditory, etc. are processed by the brain. 3. Diagnosis of neurological disorders. Epilepsy. Fluctuations in Lissajous curves might help in identifying the onset of epileptic seizures, which often start in one hemisphere before spreading. The curves can provide a clear visual representation of the anomaly starting point and its propagation. Stroke and other conditions. Lissajous curves can help in early detection of abnormal brain activity patterns typical in stroke victims or in patients with other neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's disease. US4, treatment and therapy evaluation. 
Therapeutic interventions. Observing how Lissage's curves change in response to various treatments can provide feedback on the efficacy of specific therapies, particularly those aimed at restoring balance or enhancing connectivity between hemispheres. Neurofeedback therapy. In neurofeedback, where patients learn to alter their brain activity, Lissage's curves can provide a straightforward and visually engaging way for both clinicians and patients to understand and track progress. Implementation for EEG comparison. To implement this in your application, data input. Allow users to select two EEG channels or data sets for comparison. These could represent different brain hemispheres or different conditions, e.g. resting versus task-involved states. Curve generation. Modify the application to generate Lissajuice curves using parameters derived from these two data sets. The x-axis could represent signal data from the left hemisphere, while the y-axis could represent data from the right hemisphere. Visualization enhancements. Provide tools to manipulate the visualization, e.g. adjusting time windows, frequency filters, to help isolate specific features of interest within the EEG data. Analytical tools. Include statistical tools to quantify differences in the Lissajuice curves, such as area. Can you write one technical uh, paragraph actually explaining the curve and the user interface that we have? Can you turn this text into HTML script? The web application's user interface dedicated to real-time biomedical data visualization using Lissajus curves provides an intuitive and educational platform for visualizing complex signal interactions. On the interface, users are presented with sliders for adjusting parameters and delta, which respectively control the frequencies of the oscillations along the X and Y axes and the phase shift between them. In this specific instance, the parameter A is set to 1, B to 5, and delta to 0 0.5, producing a Lissajus curve that demonstrates a more complex interaction where one frequency is significantly higher than the other. This results in a curve with five vertical oscillations for each horizontal oscillation, beautifully visualized in a sinusoidal pattern that stretches more along the x-axis. This configuration enables the curve to exhibit interesting patterns, which can be explored interactively by users through the sliders, enhancing their understanding of phase differences and frequency ratios in periodic functions, which are pivotal in analyzing signals such as EEGs and ECGs in a biomedical context. The graphical output is rendered in real time as the user manipulates the sliders, providing immediate visual feedback that enriches the learning and exploration experience. It's pretty annoying. It's uh, changing the text. Don't like it. Can I manually? Yeah, I can copy paste it properly. Can you change the last paragraph into HTML script text? Fix it manually when copy pasting. It's doing some funny business. Right. Well, this is better. It looks. Yeah, we had a slightly a uh, better explanation for this before. This will do. Seems wrong though. Can you explain the inputs and outputs? Why am I getting this uh, type of curve for the for these specific uh, inputs on the image? I don't quite get it. Oh yeah, that the. Uh, Delta there should definitely be from minus one to one, so you can change a uh, phase. That's the phase. Should we include this uh, explanation. In the image you provided, you have a Lissajus curve generated with the following parameters: a equals eight, b equals four, delta negative zero point eight. Pack explanation of the inputs: one frequency a eight. This parameter controls the frequency of the sinusoidal function along the x-axis. A higher frequency A results in more cycles within a given time interval on the x-axis. 2. Frequency B, 4. This parameter controls the frequency of the sinusoidal function along the y-axis. Here, the frequency B is half that of A, which suggests that for every complete cycle along the x-axis, there is a corresponding half cycle along the y-axis. 3. Phase shift delta minus 0.8. 
the phase shift affects how the two sinusoidal functions are offset from each other. A negative phase shift means that the Y component sinusoid leads the X component sinusoid by 0.8 radians, influencing the start point and progression of the curve through its cycle. Understanding the output curve. Shape and symmetry. Given A equals 8 and B equals 4, the ratio of AB is 2. Um, this means the curve should theoretically cross itself or complete one pattern after two full oscillations in the direction dictated by the smaller frequency, in this case along the y-axis since 4, 8. The resulting shape shows that within one complete cycle on the x-axis, there are two matching cycles on the y-axis, leading to an elongated pattern that loops back on itself twice vertically for every complete horizontal loop. Orientation and looping. The negative phase shift of magnitude 0 0.8 radians tilts the curve and alters the points where the curve crosses itself. It essentially adjusts the starting phase of the Y component relative to the X component, causing the curve to begin its cycle at a point in its sinusoidal pattern other than the origin or a peak trough, depending on the sinusoid. This is why the curve appears to start partway through a vertical loop. Understand. Visualization. Um, the Lysigus curve you're seeing is an intricate figure of eight pattern oriented horizontally. The specific pattern and orientation, horizontal elongation with two vertical loops per horizontal loop, are directly influenced by the input frequencies and the phase shift. Adjusting these inputs will change the number and shape of the intersections as well as the general form of the curve. This particular setup with higher frequency along the x-axis and a significant phase lead in the y component creates a visually dynamic and complex pattern, making these settings useful for demonstrating the effects of frequency ratio and phase difference in periodic functions. In practical terms, if this were an educational or diagnostic tool analyzing EEG or ECG signals, such variability in the curves could help highlight differences in signal periodicity, elf synchrony between different brain regions or heart chambers, and other critical physiological phenomena. Integrating the Lysigis curve visualization tool into Bionicaos.com can enhance the platform's offerings by aligning with several key themes and utilities you might already be exploring or wish to develop further. Here's how the tool fits into broader topics and utilities related to biomedical web applications and simulation games. 1. Educational Enhancement Interactive Learning The tool can serve as an interactive learning module for students and professionals interested in biomedical engineering, physics, and related fields. It helps visualize complex concepts like phase differences and frequency relationships in biomedical signals, making abstract concepts more accessible and engaging. Curriculum integration. It can be incorporated into educational curriculums that deal with signal processing, biomedical data analysis, or neurological studies, providing a hands-on tool that complements theoretical learning. Research tool. Signal analysis. For researchers, the ability to dynamically visualize and manipulate parameters of Lissajous curves can aid in the analysis of biomedical signals such as EEGs and ECGs. This can be particularly useful in identifying patterns, anomalies, or characteristic signatures within the data. Data visualization. Offers a powerful way to visualize data correlations and interactions that are not readily apparent from raw data alone, facilitating deeper insights and more intuitive understanding of complex data sets. Diagnostic support, pattern recognition. In a clinical or diagnostic setting, the tool can help practitioners visualize differences in brain or heart activity under various conditions. This could support diagnostics by illustrating how physiological signals differ between normal and pathological states. Patient monitoring. It could be adapted for use in real-time patient monitoring systems where ongoing signal analysis is crucial, such as in ICU settings or during neurological assessments. Her four, public engagement and science communication. Interactive exhibits could be used in public engagement initiatives, such as interactive exhibits in science museums or during public health campaigns to educate the general public about biomedical science and the technology behind it. Community collaboration facilitates community interaction and collaboration by providing a tool that can be used by a wide range of users, from students to professional researchers, enhancing the collaborative environment of bioanichaos.com. Hash 5. Gamification and Simulation. Simulation games. The parameters of the Lysigis curves can be manipulated in game-like scenarios that simulate different biological conditions, 
making it a valuable addition to biomedical simulation games aimed at training or educational exploration. Challenges and competitions. You can host challenges or competitions where participants try to match Lysagis curves to given biomedical signals, promoting engagement and learning through gamification. Strategic integration. To fully leverage this tool on Bionicast.com, consider creating dedicated sections for educational resources, research tools, and diagnostic aids, or integrate it into existing categories. Providing tutorials, case studies, or user guides on how to effectively use the Lysagis Curve tool in various contexts will enhance user experience and utility. By aligning the tool with these themes, Bionicast.com can broaden its impact, offering more value to its users while staying at the forefront of innovation in biomedical education and research. Creating the Lysagis Curve Visualization Tool into Bionicast.com can enhance the platform's offerings by aligning with several key themes and utilities you might already be exploring or wish to develop further. Here's how the tool fits into broader topics and utilities related to biomedical web applications and simulation games. 1. Educational Enhancement Interactive Learning the tool can serve as an interactive learning module for students and professionals interested in biomedical engineering, physics, and related fields. It helps visualize complex concepts like phase differences and frequency relationships in biomedical signals, making abstract concepts more accessible and engaging. Curriculum integration. It can be incorporated into educational curriculums that deal with signal processing, biomedical data analysis, or neurological studies, providing a hands-on tool that complements theoretical learning. Research tool. Signal analysis. For researchers, the ability to dynamically visualize and manipulate parameters of Lissajous curves can aid in the analysis of biomedical signals, such as EEGs and ECGs. This can be particularly useful in identifying patterns, anomalies, or characteristic signatures within the data. Data visualization offers a powerful way to visualize data correlations and interactions that are not readily apparent from raw data alone, facilitating deeper insights and more intuitive understanding of complex data sets. Diagnostic support, pattern recognition. In a clinical or diagnostic setting, the tool can help practitioners visualize differences in brain or heart activity under various conditions. This could support diagnostics by illustrating how physiological signals differ between normal and pathological states. Patient monitoring. It could be adapted for use in real-time patient monitoring systems where ongoing signal analysis is crucial, such as in ICU settings or during neurological assessments. Her four, public engagement and science communication. Interactive exhibits could be used in public engagement initiatives, such as interactive exhibits in science museums or during public health campaigns to educate the general public about biomedical science and the technology behind it. Community Collaboration facilitates community interaction and collaboration by providing a tool that can be used by a wide range of users, from students to professional researchers, enhancing the collaborative environment of bioanihs.com. Hash 5. Gamification and Simulation. Simulation games. The parameters of the Lysagis curves can be manipulated in game-like scenarios that simulate different biological conditions, making it a valuable addition to biomedical simulation games aimed at training or educational exploration. Challenges and competitions. You can host challenges or competitions where participants try to match Lysagis curves to given biomedical signals, promoting engagement and learning through gamification. Strategic integration. To fully leverage this tool on Bionicast.com, consider creating dedicated sections for educational resources, research tools, and diagnostic aids, or integrate it into existing categories. Providing tutorials, case studies, or user guides on how to effectively use the Lysagis Curve tool in various contexts will enhance user experience and utility. By aligning the tool with these themes, Bionicast.com can broaden its impact, offering more value to its users while staying at the forefront of innovation in biomedical education and research. Certainly. Here's a refined and clearer version of the text aimed at a university student's knowledge level, focusing on the application of Lysagis curves for EEG comparison and emphasizing practical applications and the scientific rationale. HTML, utilizing Lysagis curves for EEG analysis. Understanding brain function through EEG data is a cornerstone of both neuroscience research and clinical diagnostics. 
The application of Lysergus curves, which graphically represent the relationship between two periodic signals, offers a unique method to visualize and compare EEG readings from different brain regions, such as the left and right hemispheres. Key benefits of Lysergus curves in EEG analysis. Visual symmetry assessment. Lysergus curves can be particularly insightful for examining the symmetry between the brain's hemispheres. Asymmetrical activity patterns revealed by these curves could indicate neurological abnormalities or variations in brain function due to cognitive tasks. Strong, real-time monitoring capabilities. For scenarios requiring constant monitoring, such as during neurosurgical procedures or in intensive care units, Lysergus curves offer real-time insights into brain activity, enabling immediate responses to sudden changes. Detailed applications. Cognitive studies. By comparing EEG signals from different brain hemispheres under various task conditions, Lysergus curves can shed light on how cognitive load impacts specific areas of the brain. This is invaluable in studies investigating cognitive processes and brain behavior relationships. Diagnostic tool for neurological disorders. These curves are instrumental in diagnosing disorders like epilepsy, where specific patterns may precede a seizure, offering predictive insights. Similarly, for conditions such as strokes, deviations in Lysergus curves could aid in early detection and management. This visualization showcases a Lysergus curve, an engaging tool within the real-time biomedical data visualization application that provides users with an interactive way to explore complex relationships between two oscillating signals. In this specific instance, the curve is defined by the parameters a equals 1, b equals 5, and delta equal 0.5. Here, a, e, and b represent the frequencies of the oscillations along the x-axis and y-axis, respectively, while delta adjusts the phase shift between them, allowing the curve to explore phase differences visually. How to use this application? 1. On adjust parameters. Users can manipulate the sliders for a, b, and delta to see how changes in these values affect the shape of the Lissagis curve. This provides a dynamic learning experience where the effects of frequency ratio and phase shift on the curve's geometry are made visually explicit. Number two, visual analysis. The curve provides a graphical representation of the relationship between two periodic components. For example, with A equals one and B equals five, the curve completes five vertical loops for every horizontal loop, illustrating a 1-5 frequency ratio. This can be particularly useful in fields like signal processing or physics, where understanding the interactions between different frequencies is crucial. 3. Interactive Exploration By adjusting the delta slider, users can explore how phase differences influence the intersections and overall shape of the curve. This is valuable for analyzing phenomena such as wave interference or synchronization in biological or mechanical systems. 4. Educational Tool This application serves as an excellent educational resource for students studying sinusoidal functions, wave interactions, or any related field requiring an understanding of complex periodic behaviors. It bridges theoretical concepts with practical visual demonstrations, enhancing comprehension and retention. Practical applications. Beyond education, this tool can be adapted for more practical applications such as analyzing biomedical signals, where understanding the phase and frequency relationship can provide insights into normal or pathological states in biological data, such as e or EEG or ECG recordings. By comparing the Lysergus curves generated from different brain regions or heart chambers, Clinicians and researchers can infer functional asymmetries or detect abnormalities. This intuitive user interface, combined with the mathematical elegance of Lissajous curves, makes this application a versatile tool for both educational purposes and practical signal analysis. Do you need socket I.O. for your application depends largely on the specific features you're implementing and the real-time requirements of your system. Given your current use case of visualizing Lysergis curves and potentially integrating it with real-time biomedical data visualization, here are some considerations to help you decide. When to use Socket I.O. 1. Real-time interactivity. If your application benefits significantly from real-time updates, such as streaming live biomedical data or enabling interactive features that require instant updates across sessions, Socket I.O. is highly beneficial. It allows for efficient, efficient bi-directional communication 
great decision. If Socket.io isn't necessary for your current application needs, removing it can simplify your architecture and potentially improve the performance and maintainability of your app. Let's revise your setup to function without Socket.io, focusing instead on using straightforward AJAX calls to handle data interactions. This approach will keep your application lighter and easier to manage. Revised Flask Setup Without Socket.io Here's a simplified version of your Flask application setup without Socket.io. Python from Flask, import Flask, render template, request JSONify, import NumPy as NP, import Pandas as PD, P equals Flask, aim name, load pre-recorded data, def load data, return pd.read csv data slash pre-recorded data dot csv app root slash, def index, return render template, index.html, add us slash lissajuice methods post, def generate lissajuice, extract parameters from the request, equals float request form and get A1, B equals float request form get B1, delta equal request form dot get delta zero. Generate data for Lissages curves, t equals np.linspace2 to np.pi thousand, np.sin at plus delta, y equals np.sin.